morning student let us discuss the next topic from the chapter planning that is types of plan what is plan plan is a document showing the details about the schemes program and strategy worked out in advance for fulfilling an objective and to provide guidance to manager for making decisions and solving problems various kinds of plans are drawn these plans can be classified into single use plans and standing plans what do you mean by single use plan it is the one time plan also known as specific plans designed to achieve a particular goals for example budgets programs and projects and the standing use plan that is uh, a one which is used for activities that occur regularly over a period of time and also known as multi use plan or repeated use plan such as policies procedures methods and rules so a single use plan is of non recurring in nature whereas standing plan is of recurring in nature and there are also some other type of plans which are usually not classified as single or standing plans such as uh, strategy and objectives as they are usually set up by the top management and serve as a guide for overall planning so this is first of all the classifications of plan single and uh, standing you a uh, standing plan so let us see the chart uh, that classifying the various types of plans here types of plans see on the basis of usability it is classified into two category that i already explained single use plan and standing plan and under single use plan you can see there are three plans budget program project and in the standing plan you can see here there are four types of standing plan policy procedure method and rule and if you will see on the basis of time period see Uh, there are eight types of plans all together objectives strategy policy procedure rule method budget program so see out of this eight two are kept under other plan neither a single use plan or nor a standing plan so let us discuss in detail its meaning because the questions will be asked basically on this topic case study questions one statement will be given and you are being asked to specify the type of plan under which plan you will keep the statement so let us first uh, discuss its meaning first uh, and before discussing the meaning first let us compare what the distinguish between the single use plan and stand uh, standing plan then meaning will be very clear first of all the meaning standing plans as i explained refers to the types of plans which are formulated for use in repetitive situation that may prevail in the organizations means year to year that same plan is followed whereas single use plans are the ones that are formulated to deal with unique new or non repetitive situations that may arise in organizations from time to time so first difference is it is a uh, uh, used in repetitive situations and it is used in non repetitive situation now the period on the basis of period standing use plans are made for a long duration of time maybe throughout the year that same plan is followed throughout the year or throughout the life of the organizations 
and whereas single use plants are made for a very short duration of time that is completion of the project completion of that program for that only that plan is made and third is label involved standing plans are mainly determined by the top label management whereas single use plans are mainly determined by the middle label and lower label management of the organization so on the basis of label of management also you can see the standing plans are formulated by top label and whereas the single use plans are formulated by middle and lower level of management now the next point that is objectives standing plan seeks to attend the main goals of the organization and whereas single use plan seek to attend to the specific goals like dealing with specific situations like uh, that is to achieve the objectives what are the uh, policies uh, rules are made that comes under standing plan and in single use plan that is a project program that is only specific situation to handle that situations that plans are made and now come to the next basis nature nature once formulated standing plans are used as it is already said for a long period of time and are considered to be stable in nature it is not frequently changing whereas single use plans are prepared to deal with one time situations and flexible in nature so on the basis of nature you can say it is stable and it is flexible and now which plans comes under standing plan that is policies rules procedure method that all four comes under standing plan once the policies are made that is keep on repeatedly followed year after year rules that is uh, smoking is prohibited under the in, within the premises of the uh, organization that is a rule and procedure the same procedure is followed for the production process it is repeatedly followed and method also and in case of single use plan that is for the project what plans are made budget for the specific project programs for the specific uh, uh, assignment so this is all we have discussed the difference between the standing plan and single use plan so it will be easier for you to define all specific or different plans uh, on the basis of this if it is if you have recognized that it is a standing plan then what will be the definition and if it is of single use plan then what will be the definition it will be easier for you so sometime even questions also ask distinguish between standing plan and single use plan so let us now discuss in detail the various types of plans first of all let us start with the first uh, plan that is objective that is neither a single use nor a standing plan what is objective objectives are the ends which the management seeks to achieve within a given time period by its operations so every organization have certain objectives and objective should be expressed in specific terms that is they should be measurable in quantitative terms like for example the objective of a mobile company can be to increase the mobile user by 10% in 2 years so it is quite definite what is the exact target and how much time is to be needed to achieve that objective so to um, point out this you can say it is an end result aim is clearly stated okay and all other activities are directed towards achieving the end results and written statement of desired result uh, to be achieved within a 
गिवन टाइम पीरियड तो इट इज दिज ऑल आर आर द एलिमेंट्स ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्टिव एंड इट शुड बी टाइम बाउंडेड एंड विद इन दिस टाइम दिस ऑब्जेक्टिव इज टू बी प्रिपेयर तो अदर प्लान्स ऑल्स आर मेड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्टिव डिसाइडेड बाय द फिक्स बाय द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन तो इट कैन नॉट बी कैटेगराइज अंडर द सिंगल यूज और स्टैंडिंग प्लान तो इट इज अदर टाइप ऑफ प्लान नाउ मूव टू द नेक्स्ट प्लान दैट इज स्ट्रैटेजी वट यू मीन बाय स्ट्रैटेजी स्ट्रैटेजी इज ए कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव प्लान फॉर एक्म्प्लिशिंग एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑब्जेक्टिव मीन्स अ कंपनीज मार्केट स्ट्रैटेजी मे रिलेट टू द फॉलोइंग क्वेश्चन लाइक Uh, who are the customers what is the demand for the product which channel of distribution is to be used what is the pricing policy and how do we advertise the product like for example pepsi and coca cola are competitors in the soft drink market and if pepsi reduces the price of the product in the market then uh, counter plan of coca cola to maintain its market shares may be considered as strategy and here it is mentioned that is counter of business involves uh, environment scanning what the what is the demand of environment how the environment is changing and then uh, determination of long term objectives determining the course of actions and allocations of resources so strategy should be very clear how to tackle the situations um to exist in the market and to uh, to get the maximum share of the market and very alert with their competitors what competitors are following accordingly you have to change the strategy so as to establish or exist in the competitive market so these two are neither a single use uh, plan or nor a standing plan you must remember this now come to the next uh, plan that is policies that comes under uh, standing plan uh, like uh, organization style of working how it will work what are the rules uh, what are the way to perform the solving the problem and how to uh, guide to thinking that is policy let us just define first policy are the general statement that guide uh, thinking or channelizing energy towards a particular directions like for example policy of a company may be not to employ any person who is less than 18 years of age so this is the policy of a particular organization if a employee is below 18 he will not be appointed even if he is skilled enough competent enough but policy organization is not going to change so this is the way of working of the organizations and how you will take the decision it helps it totally depends upon what are the policy of the organization so uh, policy provides a basis for interpreting strategy and uh, in short policy is the general response to a particular problem or situation so to handle the situation policy is the guideline what is the policy accordingly um, organization will take decision now the next one is procedure again it is also a standing plan what is procedure it is a chronological sequence of various steps to be taken in order to perform an activity in an efficient manner and the sequence of steps to be taken are generally to enforce a policy and to attend the predetermined objective 
and procedures are very rigid and do not leave any scope for individual judgment means you cannot decide that uh, if i will follow our fourth step first then fourth step uh, after uh, after performing third step so it is not totally dip it is not uh, in the scope of the individual to take the judgment whatever procedure is defined you have to blindly follow that procedure like uh, sequence of step is already uh, mentioned and then is this a chronological order first what function we have to perform then what next we will follow uh, we will perform and guide to action and guidelines are given accordingly uh, employee has to perform and step by step by uh, way of doing a work so there are a fixed sequence like for example an enterprise may have following procedure for purchase of goods like first identify the various supplier so this is what the uh, procedure mentioned in that organizations first step you just identify the various supplier who are the supplier for that particular raw material then you invite quotation from them ask the quotation from them second step then compare the quotations of different suppliers this is the third step and fourth step place order to the supplier whose offer is the who offered the best quotation and then receipt and inspection of good when the goods will arrive to your premises first to inspect whether it is as per the specification or not and then make the payment to the supplier means uh, for purchasing raw material six steps are followed and this is uh, and if suppose any manager decided that directly they given the order and purchase suppose uh, manager one relative is the supplier of that particular product without asking for any quotations without uh, comparing the quotations he just given the order to his relative and uh, purchase the goods without any inspection so this is uh, this is not to be tolerated by the organization that is why these procedures are made that fairly the steps should be followed for conducting particular activities so six steps are involved to purchase any raw material for the production so now i think it is clear what is procedure now moving ahead to the next plan that is what is rules rules uh, here rules uh, that is a code of conduct or uh, specify uh, do do's or do not what you are allowed to do what you are not allowed to do and it is most rigid and uh, if you are not following the rules penalty for not observing the rules so uh, it is also a standing plans rules are the specific statement that inform what is to be done like for example company may have rule of no smoking in the factory premises so rules are enforced to maintain discipline and to avoid disorder in the organization and their violation is generally associated with some sort of disciplinary action and if it is not obeyed by the employees then disciplinary actions will be taken against the employee so these all are these are the rules and rules that are conveyed at the time of joining the organizations on written paper a employee signed that contract paper and if it is followed that he is not following the rules disciplinary actions will be taken against the employee so now next come to the next plan that is method what do you mean by method that is the way of doing a job or bring uniformity that is standardizations bringing systematic working bring clarity in the minds of worker how to do the work 
तो मैथड इज अ प्रिस्क्राइब प्रोसेस इन विच ए पर्टिकुलर ऑपरेशन और एन एक्टिविटी इज परफॉर्म considering the objective of the organization and method uh, should be stated in clear and precise term to improve organizational efficiency and to bring orderliness to the workplace like uh, for example there are different methods available for valuation of stock so many methods are there like lifo method that is last in first out first in first out so business can select any method for valuation of its stock so selection of particular method avoid confusion and help in smooth functioning so method should be specifically stated and uh, this uh, selection of proper method saves the time money efforts and increases the efficiency and not create the environment of confusions and one more example you can take for top level management orientations program lectures and other seminars can be uh, organized whereas at the supervisory level on the job training methods and work oriented methods are offered that is that, that is to impart the training to employees at various level uh, different methods can be adopted so this is what about the method as a stand uh, it is also a standing plan now the next is program that is a single use plan what is program program is a detailed statement about a project which outlines the objectives policies procedure rules task human and physical resources required and the budget to implement any course of action like for example a company may have program with respect to construction of new factory premises so new factory premises uh, is the plan of it is a program of a company to construct a new factory premises and in for this the detailed project is being made uh, what is the objective of that construction of new factory premises what should be the policy of purchasing any uh, raw materials for uh, that particular constructions so it is a uh, s- summing up of all the plans are included in the program considered in the program and programs can be of different types like production program training program sales promotions program so there is a detailed statement about a project which outline the objective policy procedure rules task human and physical resources required and of course the budget is also mentioned in for conducting that program what a what budget is sanctioned by the organization so it is a gamut of all activities and that involve objectives procedures policies and rules now the next uh, plan budget it is a single use plan and what is budget budget is the statement of expected result expressed in numerical terms over a specific period of time here uh, it expressed in numerical terms and controlling device from which deviations are taken care of means sub you should not expend the money beyond the budget provide the standard or expected results so that it is very easy to compare the cost planned uh, actual cost with the planned cost so that deviations can be deducted and it uh, detected and it can be find out why this deviation is taking place 
so uh, this is called the budget and uh, for example uh, cash budget is prepared to show the expected inflow and outflow of cash for a period in advance what are the expectation of the organizations relating to the cash movement cash inflow comes from sales and cash outflow in the form of expenses so net cash positions uh can be determined by subtracting cash outflow from cash inflow and management need to hold adequate cash balances for various purposes but at the same time it should not avoid excess cash balance as it give little or no return so business must assess and plan its need of cash with the degree of caution means whatever balance is required that must be maintained by the organization and that is why cash flow is made uh, to uh, uh, to determine what are uh, what are the expected cash inflow from the sales and what are the expected cash flow outflow for due to purchases and that net minimum balance is to be maintained in the organization similarly this means budget here doesn't mean that it is only prepared for the expenses even it is also prepared that the target of the organization to increase the sales turnover and what are the actual turnover and what are the planned budget for the sales turnover and if there is any deviations then corrective actions were taken to uh minimize or to remove this deviation so these all are the various types of plans that are made by the organizations and accordingly the works are done on the basis of the plans made so this is a clear cut guidelines for the employee and it uh, leads to uh prevent from the confusions and all the employees work according to the so the pattern of questions you will get from this topic is first of all that meaning should be very clear about the various types of plan that i already discussed and please go through all this uh, types of plan and the pattern of questions it will be mentioned in the statement form you just simply have to identify what type of plan it is so that i already discuss and uh, see suppose uh, there is uh, one case uh, of uh, uh, suppose there are some pattern of questions um, like uh, uh, smoking is prohibited uh, in the um, uh, organizations premises what kind of plan it is so you have to specify the type of plan that is rule uh, like for example uh, in which type of plan sequence of activities is determined to complete a job that is procedure and name the type of plan which is time bound and linked with measurable outcome answer is budget name the type of plan which provide the broad, broad counter of an organization's business that is strategy name the type of plan which provide the prescribed way in which a task has to be performed considering the objective that is method so this is all are the pattern of questions uh, and that may be asked of one marks questions even multiple choice questions also you will get so this is all what i discuss about the topic type of plan go through this topic and this is all thank you so much take care